Hello, Trinity Church, and welcome to your weekly announcements. I'm so glad to have this moment to tell you a little bit about what's going on here in your community of faith. The first thing I want to mention is this Saturday is our diocesan convention. It'll be taking place digitally. Representatives from Trinity and myself will be representing Trinity Church at diocesan convention, and we'll be sure to tell you what happened at that important gathering that helps guide the mission and the ministry of not only Trinity, but of all the Episcopal churches throughout the state of Maine. This Sunday is a day of joy as we gather together at both 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. The 8 o'clock service is quiet, contemplative, a spoken service where we gather in person reflect on readings, pray, and receive the Holy Sacrament. Then at 10 o'clock, we will have music, we will gather together, and we will celebrate both in person and online on Facebook and YouTube. However you feel called to take part in the service, know that you are welcome, know that you are wanted. Uh, just a quick note about this Sunday service. At the 10 o'clock service, we're going to be introducing two new pieces of music, and Nell will be helping us to learn those songs before the service, so you may want to arrive a little early just to learn those two songs. Also, this Sunday kicks off our stewardship program for the upcoming year of 2022. The theme this year is called Landmarks, Creating the Future at Trinity. There's an email that's coming out this week, as well as U.S. Postal Service mail for those who are interested, just introducing what we're talking about over the course of the next three weeks. We will be looking at how God works, how God moves in this place, and how we are prayerfully invited to support what God is doing here at Trinity, to build up a place of faith and joy and community. So look for that email, look for the letter. If you don't receive them by the end of this week, let me or Paula know so that we can get it to you. This Sunday, Bill Spear will be speaking to us about stewardship. The following Sunday, Pam Green will be speaking. And on the 7th of November, I will wrap things up with my sermon on that All Saints Day. Be aware that no pledge card is coming out. Now, we'll be waiting until the week of November 1st to email an electronic pledge card to all of you. We will then also have paper pledge cards available here in the church on the 7th of November, at which time we will bless and give thanks for the intention of giving, which is made known by you, the people of Trinity Church. A few other notes about things that are coming up in the not-too-distant future. On the 25th of October, that's Monday, we have our final book study looking at the book of forgiving. If you are interested in coming, even if you haven't come to any of the previous ones, come. You're welcome. You're wanted at 6 p.m. on Monday the 25th. Then on the 26th of October, that's Tuesday at 7 p.m., our outreach team, along with members of Vestry who are interested, will be learning a little bit about a ministry called Laundry Love, about making it so folks can do laundry at no cost and building community within the broader area that we are located. If you're interested in hearing a little bit more about what the outreach committee is up to and what they're considering, please reach out to me, reach out to Heather Sylvester, and we'd love to include you in that upcoming program. Then, on the 31st of October, which happens to be Halloween, I want to let you know that following church that day at 11 o'clock, we plan to have an elementary school and preschool church school program on Halloween where we'll talk a little bit about what Sundays are and what it is we celebrate. And just to make it a little extra fun, in addition to hopefully doing a planting project outside, I'm inviting anyone and everyone who would like to dress up for a Halloween to consider doing that as part of church. Maybe, just maybe, there'll be treats available for you, too, following the service. We will see. On the 5th of November, we are holding our monthly men's group. It meets on the first Friday of the month. 
We will be meeting at 6 p.m. If you're interested in more information, reach out to me. I'd love to tell you about it. Also, on the 7th of November, we celebrate All Saints Sunday, as I mentioned before. Part of that means that you were invited to write out the names of loved ones who have died and entered into the nearer presence of God. We will remember them as part of the service. I'm also inviting you to bring in physical objects that speak of those individuals, be it a book, a picture, an item, prayer beads, prayer book, Bible, you name it. And we will fill the church space with those items. You can begin bringing them in on the 31st of October. We'll start putting them out after the Sunday service. All right, that's an awful lot of information of what is going on here at Trinity. Know that wherever you are in the midst of it all, you are loved by God. You are wanted in this place. You are a blessing, and we give thanks for you. May Christ's goodness and love go with you today and always. We'll see you soon.